स्प्लेंडेड एनिमेशन स्प्लेंडेड टीवी शोला वॉज अ चार्मिंग यंग मैन with a knack for dating older women for financial gain. He believed that his good looks and smooth talking could easily win over wealthy older women who were willing to lavish him with money and gifts. His latest conquest was a woman named Mrs. Adiola, a wealthy widow in her late 40s. At first, Shola's girlfriend Tolu didn't suspect anything as Shola's financial situation. Eh, I thought I was doomed to suffering with a man since he makes it to. Thank God I did not suffer for long. <laughs> seemed to improve overnight. However, Tolu couldn't shake off the feeling that something was amiss. When she confronted Shola about his newfound wealth, he lied to her, claiming that he had landed a lucrative job. You bought a car. How? What do you mean how? How did they used to buy a car again in this life? How as in with which money? With which money? Is it the salary that cannot afford you two hungry man size noodles that I used in buying car? Instead of you to be happy, you were busy questioning the source of my wealth. When poverty was dealing with me, did you question the source of my poverty? Unbeknownst to Tolu, Shola was secretly seeing Mrs. Adaola behind her back. To cover his track, Shola introduced Mrs. Adaola to Tolu as his aunt. This is my big auntie. Aunt to meet my girlfriend Kimberly. Oh, good evening, ma. Oh, good evening. Huh? She's such a pretty girl, Shola. I didn't know you had eye for good things, oh. Ah, <laughs> auntie, auntie. And Tolu innocently believed his lie. Tolu even visited Mrs. Adiola regularly, helping her with chores around the house, completely oblivious to the true nature of their relationship. Our wife, our wife. Well done. I just saw this one's hiding. <laughs> no, no problem, ma. <laughs> our wife. The way these girls are trying to dodge wash day, eh? Meanwhile, Mrs. Adiola's husband, a military man, was away on duty, leaving her vulnerable to Shola's advances. However, Shola was unaware of Mrs. Adiola's marital status, let alone the fact that her husband was a high-ranking military officer. Shola, stand up! Stand up! Stand up! My husband is back! What? Your husband? I, I, th I thought you said this in Sambisa! One fateful day, Mrs. Adiola's husband returned unexpectedly. Honey, I'm home! Honey, I'm home! Wow! Baby! Ah, how come you didn't tell me you are coming back? We spoke this morning. I wanted to surprise you, my dear. Are you okay? Why are you sweating? Oh, sweat. It's nothing. I was doing some cleaning upstairs. Oh, why stress yourself, darling, when you can get a maid? We'll discuss that later. You need to freshen up first and have something to eat. And caught Shola red-handed in their home. Enraged by the betrayal, he unleashed his fury upon Shola, subjecting him to a brutal beating. How dare you steal from an army general? Sir, I did not steal anything, please. No, it's not me, I didn't steal anything, please. What then are you doing in my compound? How come you are jumping the fence? Baby, don't stress yourself. This is one of the adding criminals. Let them go and deal with him. He must have jumped the fence when he sees you enter the compound. I mean, how would I know somebody is in the compound? Maybe he has come to steal the second generator. Officers! <laughs> Desperate to escape, Shola attempted to flee through the backyard fence, only to find himself trapped in the neighboring compound, surrounded by vicious guard dogs who inflicted further harm upon him. Despite the harrowing ordeal, Shola seemed undeterred. Ugh. 
Was anybody here to see me? No! In fact, if not that the doctor took pity on you, we would have treated you in the first place. So, Madam Adeswa didn't come to check on me. Who is that? We didn't see anybody. You. How did I get here? Some military men dropped you at the gate and left. Ah. <sighs> anyway, your bill is 2.5 million naira. I hope you have enough money in your account to clear it. Two points what? Why? That's outrageous. Did you just say outrageous? Mr. Man, you have been in coma for a good six months, living on oxygen, plus the other medical care. Do you still think 2.5 million is outrageous? <sighs> Do you have my phone, please? Let me make a call. We don't have your phone. But of course, I can borrow you mine. The important thing is to clear your bill. Hello. Hello, Ma. This is Shola. Shola? From where? Ah, it's me, Shola. Your cupcake. Your honey bunny, your sugar. Oh, Shala, thank God. I'm happy to hear from you. But this is not fair. You didn't even bother to check up on me after denying me for the second time. It's not like that, Shala. You know it will have been worse if my husband gets to find out. What is worse than being in a coma for six months? Death. At least you are still alive. This is you talking. Let's thank God for life. Anyways, what about the two million naira you promised me? I need the money to settle my hospital bills. Two million guinea? When? When? How? Madame Adiswa, I beg. This is no time for jokes. I need the money asap. My hospital bill is about 2.5 million naira. I was even going to beg you to add the remaining 500k for me. Listen, Shala, I do not have any money to give you. We both enjoy the sex. In fact, you enjoy it more than I do. So why should I pay you? But, 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 you promised me. We have a deal. Hello? 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 Ma? Ignoring the painful lesson he had learned, he continued his reckless lifestyle, seeking out another older woman to exploit. I can assure you, ours won't end in tears. I mean it. First, I'm a widow, so you have nothing to worry about. Secondly, all my children are grown-ups. So it's practically me and you, no talk party. I promise to take very good care of you. This time he met a woman named Madame Clara, who seemed generous with her money. However, Shola's greed led him into a deadly trap. One night he woke up to find himself in a dark, ominous shrine. What is this? Where am I? Shola, my sugar boy. How was your night? Please! What is going on here? As you can see, I am performing a ritual. <laughs> Realizing too late that Madame Clara was a ritualist who used young men like him to maintain her wealth. Trapped and terrified, Shola's cries for help fell on deaf ears as the realization of his folly dawned upon him. Wait, is this where I slept all through the night? I mean, is this where we had sex? Too many questions at a time. Anyway, remember I said I have a surprise for you. Well, this is the surprise. We made love in this shrine all through the night and the gods enjoy the view. <laughs> Plus, they have the taste of your semen. <laughs> what? We just had an intimate covenant, you know. Ah! The day you sleep with another woman other than me. <laughs> It's madness. Straight! Yeah! Okay! In the end, Shola paid the ultimate price for his deceitful and greedy ways, serving as a cautionary tale of the dangers of manipulation and exploitation. His story serves as a stark reminder that ill-gotten gains often come with dire consequences, and that true wealth lies in honesty, integrity, and mo.